So in the previous lesson, we were able to get our basic Laravel installation and we were able to run PHP Artisan Surf to see the website on our browser. So we are still running PHP Artisan Surf in the background and you're going to have to keep this running in the background in order for you to be able to continue to see this page. If we hit refresh, then of course it's still there. Now if I do control C and exit that process, when I go back and I hit refresh, nope, it doesn't work anymore. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that you are constantly running PHP Artisan Surf and just leave it there. Now most terminals allow tabs. So if you need your terminal, just open a new tab and run any commands on there instead. Always keep that tab with that PHP Artisan Surf. So with that being said, I'm gonna switch over to my editor. I happen to use PHP Storm, but I've used Sublime Text, I've used Code, I've used NetBeans. Code is a great free one, and I would probably start there unless you have a subscription to something like Sublime or PHP Storm. I prefer PHP Storm because it's actually an IDE and not just a text editor. However, a lot of times I'll switch back to Sublime Text if I just need some quick edits on a project and I don't want to have to index it and do all of the things that PHP Storm does for a project. So with that being said, I have that project open right now. So this is my first project, which of course I created on episode one. And the very first thing you're going to notice is that there are a lot of files and directories in here. Now here's the good news. You don't have to worry about anything at all. We're going to take it one step at a time and eventually you will know what all of these directories and files do. But for now, I just want you to worry about one particular file and that is located inside the directory called routes. And inside of there, there is a web.php file. Let's go ahead and open that now. So if you open that file, you're going to get something like this. PHP storm automatically collapses that comment. So if I open it up, this is probably more like what you see. So the first thing you're going to see here is that you can get a route with slash and slash just simply means homepage and it's going to return a view called welcome. And if I switch back to our browser, I'll hit refresh. And this is the page that we are seeing just to prove that I'm going to go ahead and delete that altogether. I'm going to hit save refresh. Now I just get a blank page. So if instead I returned, coders tape there we are so now we know how that very first page gets loaded I'm gonna undo this a couple of times and we're back to what it ships with so route get slash function okay now let's say that we wanted to add another route let's add a new one and let's just say I want to call it contact now of course I will show you how to make views later on but for now we're simply going to return contact us okay if we go back to the browser we can now visit slash contact and there we are contact us so this brings us to our very first lesson about laravel so this web.php file located inside the routes is where we're going to define all of the routes that your application will respond to now there are other route files but for now we're just going to worry about the web and web meaning routes that you want to visit through a browser so you can make as many of these as you want and this is where you would declare them so let's make another one for about and let's return about us we go back to the browser we change from contact to about and now we are there about us so now we have three pages we have the home page which is still the default we have contact and we have about and there we are so in the next lesson, we're going to explore how to actually add some HTML into these routes.